back to my YouTube channel. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed my 24 hour transformation. Unfortunately, I'm not tan anymore. I'm not going out this weekend. So I'm a bit bummed, but I just wanted to film an intro for this video. So you guys will watch me go from this to this. So it is a little bit of a glow up and I bring you guys along for my transformation. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next clip. To start off the transition, I'm just going to be taking the Bondi Sands Tan and mix it with the Mind Tan. The reason being is because my pasty body needs a little bit of color. So now I'm just going to be tying my hair up so that no tan gets in it. And then I'm going to be using a bamboo exfoliator. The reason why this is not a proper mitt is because I've lost two and I really don't want to go out and buy a new one. Now I've just done a few sped up clips just because I really don't want to be naked on camera. So this is all the footage that I've got, unfortunately. Okay, so next up, what I like to do is do a little bit of skincare. So I'm going to facial shave my eyebrows. I've actually never done this on camera before. So what I use is this little blade here. These ones are from Dacio. So what I like to do is grab a mirror. Raise my eyebrows and then just come down on an angle just to get rid of any of the hairs. And then I'm just going to fast forward where I'm just going around my forehead and also around the side of my face. But just be very careful because you can cut yourself. Then what I like to do is give myself a mini facial. Sometimes they're more intense than others. But I just like to go over with some Bioderma and a cotton pad just to ensure that nothing's on my face. Next up we're going to do a tiny bit of skincare. So these are the two products that I've been using at the moment. Oh my god that burp. So we have the Go To Face Hero and then we have the Very Useful Face Cream as well. So what I like to do is just mix the two. So I don't really like the way this one comes. I prefer a squeezy bottle but you know what? You've gotta do what you gotta do. So I usually just get the end of like my brush just because I don't want it to get in my nails and I get about that much about a piece size drop put it on the back of my hand probably shouldn't have done that because I've got tan on oh well. and then I like to get a drop of the face hero and just pop it on there and then apply it all over so this is once you've like cleansed and exfoliated so I just did my little cleanse then with the bioderma but you can go in and do everything but this is just like a mini one so now once that is blended in, now we can just wait for everything to develop and wait for everything to sink in and moisturize into the skin. I'm going to go um, get a banana smoothie, make some breakfast and get on with my daily tasks. But so far that prep is all that's happening later on. We've got to tone the hair. We've also got to straighten it. We've got to wash off the tan. So I'll bring you guys along for that. So it's definitely not the end. So keep on watching. So we're now up to the next phase of my 0 to 100 24 hour transformation. So we're going to be painting my nails. I'm going to be using the Essie Nail Varnish in Fun in the the gondola so I'm just gonna be doing that now and then letting that dry and clean up my room a little bit so yeah let's get straight into it and FYI I suck at painting nails especially using my left hand I literally suck that's one layer down so I'll wait for that one to dry while I'm doing my other hand and then we'll go back and do a second coat on that one now what I'm gonna do is tone my hair so I'm gonna be using the fudge clean blonde damage rewind shampoo but what I'm not gonna do is get in the shower because I don't want to get my whole hair wet and then get all of the tan off because it's still developing so this is what it's looking like now so I'm gonna go do this without getting in the shower so it'll be a little bit of a challenge but let's do it Wow, okay, the light is super duper yellow, but I just have popped in the toner now. Would have been so much easier to do this last night or whatnot, and you can tell by my hands look how like purple and whatnot, but I'm just gonna let that sit in, and then I'm gonna go for a shower, quickly wash it out, quickly shampoo my hair so it's nice and clean for tomorrow. I just didn't want to get in there while I'm wearing um, all of the tan, otherwise it would wash off quicker, so that's why we've done this in the bathroom sink, and we're looking hella hot check coming to you fresh hot out of the shower so i think the fan in the background might be a little bit loud but i just want to quickly jump on here and say now i'm going to be doing a, a mask so this is the green apple full strength from juice beauty and what this one does is exfoliates the skin so i'm just going to pop that all over a generous layer and then let it do its magic leave it on for about 10 minutes and then take it off that'll probably be the end of the vlog today and then tomorrow when this is dark and my hair is dried i'll show you guys how i'm looking i just wanted to jump on camera and show you guys my finished makeup just before before I do my hair. So I'm just gonna finish doing my hair and then I'll jump on camera later on as well. You know what, it's probably gonna be mixy matchy on this video just because I'm in a rush and I have to quickly go and do stuff and try and film as well. It's like a hard life. First of all, problems. <laughs> I just quickly 
ran outside to catch the sun before it goes down. So this is my finished makeup and hair as well. I'm going to quickly go stick the inner corners of my lashes down because they're being a little bit of a pain. But I just straightened my hair. It was quite dark inside so I didn't get the best footage but I did get a little bit. So I just wanted to jump outside, get some good lighting and show you guys. I used MAC Blue Brown Pigment on the lids and then I did Velvet Teddy with a Kylie Gloss over the top. And I'm also going to decide on my outfit there. I have like four different options so I'll see you guys later. So I've just finished getting ready so I'm wearing this shirt here. So the top that I'm wearing is from Dottie and then I've just got this bralette underneath from Transit. Then I'm wearing this plain black skirt and then I've just got some Windsor Smiths on as well. And they're so old but if you know me personally, I always wear them out. So this is the outfit so the bralette is just underneath everything today i hope you guys enjoyed my 24 hour transformation if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in my next video bye